The Ontario Science Centre has a rainforest with many species held within it. Today we're going to be learning about the poison dart frogs of Central and South America. One of them poops on me. It's unpleasant, but not for the viewers. Hi Cranium Cookie fans, it's Charlie here, still at the Ontario Science Centre, talking with Steve. And with us are... Two types of poison dart frogs. Why are they called poison dart frogs? The natives would dip their arrowheads in them to get the poison off the skin. So what can you tell me about these guys? Where do they live? Uh, they're through Central and South America. There are a number of different species and a number of different colors. This is a blue one called an Azurius, and this is a, the orange and black one is a Leucomalius. And are there are the back sort of like fingerprints as in... No, well, there are, yeah. Like. There are different patterns between the two, yeah. Oh, I, I imagine the frogs could probably tell each other apart. All right, so what do these guys eat? Uh, they eat, uh, we feed them just crickets and fruit flies. Mm -hmm. In the wild, they eat insects and stuff that they metabolize into their poison. So, so they're not actually poison? Not, ours aren't poisonous. No. But no. in the wild, they would. In the wild, yeah, you wouldn't want to touch them or they would make you very sick. Are we talking this is a lethal sort of thing? It depends. Some frogs will make you sick. Others will kill you. Now that we know what they eat, what eats them? I mean, there are got to be very few things that are going to have this. Very few things that will be able to eat them because of the poison on them. Yes. Uh, what would, or at least what would try? Birds would probably try, yes. And then get sick and puke and... If they don't have protection against a natural occurring sort of thing, then yeah, they will get sick and puke if they're lucky or die if they're not. Oh, that's rough. Since they're not poisonous, mm -hmm. are they touchable? Yeah, you can touch them. Oh man, oh man, oh man. If I get sick, this is totally on you. <laughs> it, it moves. Mm -hmm. I can feel the suction pads. Yeah. Oh, you're pooping too. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so when you have milling amphibians and other reptiles, what's a big no-no? Well, you have to worry about their skin. It's very uh, susceptible to things like um, germs, what have you. These guys in the wild, you said they, they managed to sort of live for three years. Does that yeah. mean they reproduce a lot? Yeah, they reproduce uh, every couple of weeks will be some eggs we laid. Weeks? Yeah. It takes about a month for a tadpole to form, and then you have to wait for the tadpole to lose the tail and grow all the limbs for another month or so from that, and then you get yes. a little frog about that big. Thank you for, uh, is it okay to shake yeah, hands? Yeah, sure, we'll shake hands. It's an <laughs> occupational hazard. <dude>. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you for showing me the animals. I've really appreciated the time at the Ontario Science Centre. Like all the places we visit, this one could use a lot of love and attention from all of our fans. Uh, if you want to visit this place on social media, it has a website, www.ontariosciencecenter.ca. You can follow them on Facebook at the Ontario Science Center. And if you want to follow them on Twitter, it's at ONT Science CTR. Don't forget to comment on this video, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Until next time, don't forget to feed your brain with noms for your noggin. If you like what we do here at Cranium Cookie and would like to help us with future episodes, feel free to check the links in the description below and see how you can support us through PayPal, or on social media by sharing us, or by not pooping on me. Pip.